does a cat go sleep on? Where? Under pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. And our lesson for today is lesson two, common and proper nouns. Lesson two, common and proper nouns. Then we have a story to tell. The cleanup lady. Ang babaeng tagalinis. Rosa Almario is a janitress at Diligence Christian School. So si Rosa Almario ay isang tagalinis sa paaralan ng Diligence Christian. She has served the school for 12 year, years. Labing dalawang taon na siyang nagsisilbi sa paaralan. All the students know her. Lahat ng mga estudyante ay kilala siya. Each day, she makes sure that each part of the school is squeaky clean. So, araw-araw, sinisiguro niya na lahat ng parte ng paaralan ay sobrang linis. Rosa has a way of making work fun. Meron siyang paraan na maging masaya ang trabaho. She likes to sing when she sweeps the floors. Sing and sweep. Gusto niyang kumakanta habang nagwawalis sa sahig. She dances when she mops. Sumasayaw siya pag siya ay nagpupunas. Many times, the cleaners in each classroom stay behind to help her out. So lahat ng oras, ang mga tagalinis sa bawat silid aralan ay tumutulong sa kanya. The children like to be with her, even if it means they need to help clean up. So, ang mga bata ay gustong gusto siya, kahit na ibig sabihin nito ay kailangan nilang tumulong sa paglilinis. The children play games while they clean the classroom. So, yung mga bata naglalaro habang naglilinis sa kanilang silid aralan. The boys are more than willing to pick up pieces of paper on the floor because they get the chance to play shoot that paper ball into the trash can. So, ang mga batang lalaki daw ay higit na handang pulutin ang mga piraso ng papel sa sahig dahil... May pagkakataon silang makapaglaro ng ishoot ang bolang papel sa basurahan. It is a game Rosa invented. So, inimbento ito ni Rosa. She finishes all her work with a happy heart. Tinatapos niya ang lahat ng gawain niya ng may masayang puso. The children who help her are also happy. So, ang mga batang tumutulong sa kanya ay masaya din. One day, Rosa did not come to work because she was sick. Isang araw, hindi siya pumasok dahil nagkasakit siya. The school principal was worried because there was a lot of work to be done. Nag-alala ang principal ng paaralan dahil Madami pang gagawin sa paaralan. But she was surprised to see all the children helping to clean up the school. Pero nasupresa siya nung nakita niya na ang lahat ng mga bata ay tumutulong sa paglinis ng paaralan. Rosa was absent for three days, but the school was kept clean. Si Rosa daw ay lumiban ng tatlong araw, pero ang paaralan ay malinis. When Rosa reported for work, the children welcomed her back warmly. So, noong pumasok na siya sa trabaho, winelcome siya ng mga bata ng masaya. The teachers were pleased that the students had learned a valuable lesson from Rosa. So, ang mga guro ay natuwa sa mga estudyante dahil natuto sila ng magandang pag-uugali from Rosa. No matter who we are, you can always make a difference like Rosa, the cleanup lady. So, kahit sino man tayo, 
we can always make a difference like Rosa. She inspires students by working diligently with a happy heart. Question, what is Rosa's job in school? Job interest! How long has she been working at Diligence Christian School? 12 years! What game do the students play when they help Rosa clean up classroom? Shoot the paper ball in the rubbish! Why was Rosa absent? She was who became worried when Rosa was not able to come to school? The school principal! Excellent. Do you know what diligence and initiative means? Yes! Diligence means working hard until the job is done. Initiative means doing what we can to help even without being asked. Okay. You need diligence when answering workbook. You need diligence when writing down notes. You need diligence in making projects. You need diligence in studying for a quiz. And you need diligence to do homework. Yeah, How do you help your parents at home? By doing household chores! Okay, common nouns and proper nouns. A common noun does not name a particular person, place, or thing. A proper noun names a specific person, place, or thing. It always begins with the capital letter. So, for example, common nouns, president. Proper nouns, president, Rodrigo, do, terte. Common nouns, city. Proper nouns, Tokyo city. Very good. Common nouns, book. Proper noun? Orange Henry. Okay. Common noun? Car. Proper noun? Uh, Asus. Asus. What is Asus? That's a computer, right? No, it's a um, Toyota. Oh, Toyota or Suzuki. Okay. Common noun? School. Proper noun? Red child. San Pablo. Cool. Tell me the proper noun in each sentence. Gabi Lodge, are you ready? Number one. The school principal's name is Helen Gamboa. I'm Helen Gamboa. Number two. We are going on a field trip to Baguio City. Um, Baguio City. Number three. Our, visi our visitor came from Mandawe. Our visitor came from Mandawe. Mandawe. Okay. Gabriel is inside the classroom. Um, class? No, Gabriel. Number five, my classmate went to Manila Zoo. Um, Manila Zoo. Excellent. Gabriel, tell me if it's proper or common noun. Number one, Theodore. Proper! Three. Road. Um, common. January. Proper. Very good. Tuesday. Um, proper. Very good. TV. Um, proper. Wrong. TV. Um, it's... Proper or common? Common. Okay. Jessica Soho. Proper or common? Proper! Market. Proper common? Common! Jollibee. Jollibee, Jollibee. Proper! Okay, and girl. Common. Very good. Gabriel, give me the proper noun for pencil. Mongol. Give me the proper noun for teacher. Um, teacher Rina. Give me the proper noun for juice. Um, proper. Tang. Very good. Give me 
the proper noun for barangay. Okay, give me the proper noun of country. What? China? Very good. Thank you for watching. Bye!